Yo, what is up Smash players? In today's video, I want to talk about sections from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Highly recommend this book. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below if you wish to get it yourself and support me. But let's get into today's video because I want to talk about what is the ego because I always talk about people having a high ego. So what exactly does that mean? And I didn't really have a great definition for it. I really just felt the meaning. But uh, Eckhart Tolle has an amazing definition. The term ego means different things to different people, but when I use it here, it means a false self created by unconscious identification with the mind. So what does this mean? <clears throat> a false self, false identification, unconscious identification with the mind. So basically, you are really attached to a self that isn't you. So when I say a high ego, it's someone who's really attached to their high sense of self. They really they think they're way better than everyone else. You know, they think they're so good they don't even need to learn all this. You know, I don't even watch DK Bill. I know I know everything DK Bill says, for example. So when someone has a high ego, they think they're way better than they actually are. And when someone has a low ego, then they, you know, they think that they suck, oh I'm worthless. Like they have a they have a low sense of self. So when I say a high ego, uh, I mean they have a high attachment um, or a high sense of self. Sorry, yeah, a high sense of self, and when they have a low ego, they have a low sense of self. In terms of attachment, if I say someone has ego, that means they have a high attachment to their ego. So high ego doesn't mean high attachment, it means high sense of self, okay? If I just talk about their ego, then they probably have a high attachment to their ego, okay? So if you have a low ego, it doesn't mean you have a low attachment to your ego, it means you have a low sense of self and a high attachment to your ego because they really identify themselves with I'm worthless, I suck, blah, blah. So I hope I made that clear. So I talk about high ego tons because so many top players, you know, I they identify they, themselves with like this higher sense of self because, oh, they're so good, right? Now they don't do so many things new players are doing. And, you know, I, I talked about, you know, examples in Smash 4, like, you know, Light's Fox versus Larry Lurie's Fox. Light was like the up and comer and like his Fox was like so much more innovative. And like in Ultimate, I always talk about Olimar because like Myron has movement, he does desyncs. The Buzz and Shutan don't even do desyncs. I know how to desync and use it in game and use it well. And it's actually crazy that you don't use it. But I mean, hey man, they have fundies, fundies matters a lot. Uh, look at Nairo's Iron Man wins and stuff like that. So, you know, I can't blame them entirely, but at the same time, uh, if you have a high high ego, you're going to be like, oh, you know, DK Bill, I don't need to watch DK Bill. I know everything he's about to say. Oh, I don't need to listen to him. He's way beneath me. You know, you think you're like that good that you know everything in the world, right? So, you know, tons of top players have high egos, and that's usually why over time they get overthrown by the new players with low egos because those these new players are young kids who are like 15. They don't even think about trying to be the best in the world. They're just trying to be the best their best selves, you know, just just the same way the top players now weren't trying to be the best, they're just trying to be their best selves. They were learning every single technique out there. I watched all these players play competitive brawl. They learned all the advanced techniques that were out there uh, and then some. Um, but you know, now the top players, you know, they got a high ego, so they're, they're kind of getting a bit lazy. So I want to talk a bit more about uh, the ego because why it's so bad to have a high ego because you are no longer in the present when you have a high ego and I want I want to talk about this you're constantly worried about the past and the future so let's get into this next quote to the ego the present moment hardly exists only past and future are considered important this total reversal of the truth accounts for the fact that in the ego mode the mind is so dysfunctional it is always concerned with keeping the past alive because without it who are you it constantly projects itself into the future to ensure its continued survival and to seek some kind of release or fulfillment there. So what does that mean? If I have a high ego, I constantly want to bring up the past. Like I think of Mars, you know, he's like constantly talking about his Genesis win, okay? Because he, he does what he wants to protect his ego. And he's probably worried about the future because he wants to get another win in the future, you know? So when you have a high ego, you are never really like calm in the present you're never really stress-free from the present because you're always worried about keeping your past successes alive and you're constantly worried about you know getting more successes in the future so you're never just happy in the present and in the long run it's going to hurt you a lot because you can't focus on being your best self now you can't be focused on doing your best practice now and you know being in the now the this book is called the power of now right and i want to end this video with a final quote about how all negativity is caused by an accumulation of psychological time and denial of the present. So when he says psychological time, he just means time. Unease, anxiety, tension, stress, worry, all forms of fear are caused 
by too much future and not enough presence. Guilt, regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness, and all forms of non-forgiveness are caused by too much past and not enough presence. So if you feel regret about a game you lost, then you're not in the present, you're too worried about the past. If you are anxious, stressed, worried, I uh, feel unease because you're worried about the tournament coming up, then you're too much in the future. So, you know, understand the power of now, get the book if you wish to really embrace the power of now and drop those egos. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up, spank that subscribe button, have a swell evening, and I'll see you next time.